I mean, this is this is uh, something I want to write about and, and speak about for sure. I think uh, the biggest thing is my therapist would always say to me, you cannot think your way out of a feeling problem. And again, going back to skill sets, many of us were never taught um, how to hold uncomfortable emotions in our body. And we see this now, you know, on TikTok now, I, I don't have kids, uh, but I, I, the, the algorithm shows me sometimes these parenting videos, because I think there's a lot of similarities and, and there's a point to this, but there's this new style of parenting called gentle parenting or embodied parenting, which is basically when this little person, this little kid who cannot regulate their emotions when they have a temper tantrum, that the way that you respond to the temper tantrum is to just be with them in that difficult moment and just be a supportive presence so that they can learn how to regulate their own emotions. And when you think about traditionally, I don't know about you, but how parents that I have known and my own parents dealt with tantrums as toddlers is, you know, stop right now, this isn't right, you're bad, you know, all of these things. And so what I realized is that every single person, I believe, tell me if I'm wrong, if you're listening, but every single person, I think at some point has abandoned a part of themselves, like we all do, which is the price of growing up. We get hurt, we get told we're too much, we get convinced that a part of us is only worth loving if we act a certain way, if we perform in a certain way, if we achieve enough, if we are successful enough. And nobody ever tells us that it is our job to go back and find that little piece of ourselves and reintegrate it. So what I have learned is that when I'm dealing with things in my body, it's not actually just my body. What I'm dealing with is the younger version of myself who was never taught how to self-regulate. And so in a way, I am reparenting myself where when I am feeling a difficult emotion, when you said earlier, you ask yourself, where am I feeling this in, in my body? I would add another question, which I always ask myself, how old does this feeling feel? Who? How old is the is the me that is feeling this? Because you will be so surprised. Sometimes I will feel something and I'll sit with it and I'll be like, oh, this is like a me at 15 years old, or this is me at six, or this is me at 12. And you realize that there are parts of you that are so young and vulnerable. And there are parts of you that don't know that you're an adult now. So they're still feeling the way that they did when they were a kid. And so you as the adult, me as the adult, I've learned to be so much more compassionate to myself, where if I'm feeling a difficult emotion, even just the act of putting your hand on your heart, which simulates the feeling of being hugged and just saying, it's okay, I've got you, we've got this, I'm here, it's okay. It sounds so silly sometimes, but it's so powerful. And that's what ends up healing because the inner child isn't afraid of the emotions. The inner child is afraid that no one is going to be there with them as they experience the emotions. So as I go through life, I have been trying to be very compassionate to myself. And by extension, I started to see everybody through the lens of this inner child. So when I see somebody acting out or acting mean or acting angry, it's like I can almost see all the layers peeling away. And I say, ah, this is, uh, this is an inner child that needs affection, attention, validation. This is somebody who's hurt. This is somebody who, you know, because if you go back again to books, if you go back to the sacred agreements, the four sacred agreements, you know, when he says that, you know, the way that you talk to your, to others is a direct reflection of the way you talk to yourself. And so I've heard from my own friends over this past transformation that I have just become a lot gentler just because I'm trying to be gentler with myself. So I'm really trying to, to, Oh, to, to, to meet people if they're having a difficult emotion. And because I am no longer afraid of difficult emotions in my body, I am no longer uncomfortable if you as my friend are having a difficult emotion, which means I can create space for you to have that difficult emotion. And I didn't know how to do that before.